So, don't talk about me because I know it's been a little inconsistent lately, but it's been a lot going on. Um, I was just in Atlanta this past weekend visiting a friend and then I had some time where I hung out with my grandma and I bought this outfit, just some tan pants and this shirt. Um, I did some professional photos today, which is why my makeup is done. Period. I had gotten my hair pressed out and curled, but it was very windy in my city today. So that wind blew my curls right out. But it still looks okay. So I'm actually taking this time to use this great makeup, period, period, to film two videos. So this video is just a mini update on my tummy tuck surgery and upper body lift surgery because I, um, today is October 9th, so it is officially, well, let me see, uh, officially five months in the other video that I filmed, I think I was saying six months, so officially five months since I had my tummy tuck surgery and upper body lift. So, um, yeah, I went to the doctor a couple weeks ago to see my surgeon and he kind of looked at my scars. He pressed on the areas that, you know, usually swell quite a bit. And he, you know, just kind of touched, touched me, touched me, touched me. And, um, not in an inappropriate way, but, um, you gotta be careful in 2022, it wasn't like that. But he just made sure everything was good, and he actually told me, I don't need to see you anymore until your year mark, which will be May of next year. So he was like, everything looks great, you seem to be healing great, you seem to be, you know, back fine and doing all the things that you normally do. So I think you're good. I don't think we need, I don't think I need to see you anymore until then. So I did, y'all, I don't be, I be like not wanting to film when I'm there. I always be like, I'm going to film when I get there and then I don't. But I did take a couple of clips while I was there. So I'm going to insert those clips right here. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> so it's about 8.50, 8.51, something along those lines. I'm here for a long overdue checkup with my plastic surgeon. So, I was supposed to have this checkup probably at least three weeks ago, but it's September 14th. Uh,. I had an appointment that was originally August 17th, which would have been like, I was in Jamaica from August 8th to August 14th. So it would have been right when I got back from Jamaica. But then my job sent me to Chicago for two weeks, right after I came from Jamaica. And then I was supposed to have this appointment last Wednesday, but last week we were off on Monday for Labor Day. And so when Wednesday came around, I thought it was Tuesday. So I completely forgot about this appointment. So now it's Wednesday again, and I'm here just for my surgeon to check my progress to see how I'm doing, how the scars are looking. Uh, I'll try to record what I can, but my surgeon is kind of about his business, so I don't know how he feel about being recorded. I did record him in my video, one of them, where he was, when he was drawing the lines on me for the surgery, but my mom, was sitting there with my phone and I, I really don't think that he realized that I was recording him. So, there's that. <sighs> it's a struggle because 
Well, I thought that the traffic would be way worse. And so I left the house without making any coffee because I thought I wasn't gonna have time to make coffee, but I'm actually here. I got here at 8.45, so I had a whole extra 15 minutes that I could have used to make me some coffee, but I didn't. So now I feel like, Bleh. And there is an accident on the opposite side of the road. So when I leave here, I'll probably be in traffic, which is annoying, but anyways, like I said, I'll period y'all on the skin huh. I'll record as much as I can and I'll see y'all later disposable bikini on us In the hospital gown. And I'm going to take my after photos today. On the plus side, I'm wearing pants. <laughs> so I just put these right on and keep my dress. Let me watch where they go. And so I just want to say that I did post um, my surgery, like a video talking about what the day before and then three days one through three post up and then four to six post up and then I did an update. So all on my page, so go take a look at it. Um, I do feel like my healing process was a lot better than the average person's. Like I've, I've healed great. So I do think um, I will do a video talking about 10 things that I think you need to heal properly after tummy tuck and upper body lift. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't that bad for me. I am currently 180 pounds. They took seven pounds off of me. Um, and I'm doing good. I rarely ever swell. A lot of the issues that I have come from my other health issues, like the issues with my gallbladder, etc. But as far as my tummy tuck, my scars and everything, I'm doing fine. So um, I'm gonna insert a different clip now of how the scars look. So this is my back scar. It goes underneath my boobs and all the way around my back. Up under the other boob. Um, I think my back scar looks pretty good. It's barely light, so you can't always see it that good. And then I'll show you, I'll try to show you my tummy tuck scar without showing y'all my goodies. I just did a try on haul, so y'all will see this outfit next week. But my tummy tuck scar goes from here all the way. Trying not to show y'all my goodies. Down here, up to here. Um, my tummy tuck scar, in my opinion, is a little darker than the back scar. 
because um, I was using a jeez, what is it called? A keloid. I guess you could like a roll on. I don't know. I have to pop a picture of it in here, but I was using that on my back scar. This is kind of like a test to see if it works and I think it does because I wasn't using it on the tummy tuck scar and I was using it on the back scar and I think the back scar is a lot lighter than the tummy tuck scar so I started putting it on the tummy tuck scar so there's that so yeah um that's pretty much it. I'm doing really well. Um, still buying new clothes, still getting really used to the new body. If you guys have any questions about the tummy tuck or the upper body lift, please comment below or you can follow me on Instagram and ask me questions there. And it's been a great journey so far. I'm very pleased with my results and the healing process was great for me. I would, um, recommend it if you want that skin off you get it off because it was great for me but anyways that's all this is a very short video i do have another video coming out next week um of a trial haul and then after that i'm gonna go ahead and do a things i feel like you need for your tummy tuck recovery but love you guys thank you for following me follow me on instagram like comment share subscribe let me know